one. Hi, this is uh, Brian Ag from Ag Race Timing. I wanted to give everyone a quick overview of the uh, actual hardware that I've used uh, and all the components, how much they cost, and where I bought them from. The uh, the objective, as most of you know, is that uh, you know chip timing is is ex expensive, and uh, the actual hardware components are not. Uh, of course, a company will take those, rebrand them, triple the price, and uh, you know make them proprietary. You have to buy them through them. Well, with this system, I've made it to where everything can be purchased. Off, this, off the shelf and so we're going to actually look at each component to see how much they cost and where I bought them from. So uh, we'll start by looking at the, the, the foundation here, the boards. The, uh, the boards are just standard 2x2 two two boards. You can buy them at any uh, hardware store. Uh, I have a local store, Home Depot, that's right down the street so uh, it's not a local store, it's a nationwide store but it's uh, real close to my house. So 2x2 two two boards, uh, they cost around $6.50, $7 a piece. Uh, I've got a little metal anchor here. This is galvanized steel. Uh, I think it costs around two dollars a piece if, if that. Uh, I even bought, you know, every piece of this I bought brand new just so I know the price. The screws come in a package of ten. They cost I think around a dollar twenty each, uh, each package. The uh, adapter here, PVC adapter, is uh, fifty cents. The PVC pop, uh, I bought two two foot long pops. I, they were about a dollar. Uh, I, I did that so that I could test, you know, reading the tags up to your chest and also on shoe tags. So uh, the this pipe, two, uh, two foot long, costs a dollar. Uh, they only sell them in 10 foot long PVC pipes, um, either two or 10, so I, I took a 10 foot pipe, cut it in half, and I've got two five foot pipes here. These cost three dollars for the 10 foot. Um, the clasp that I'm using uh, costs 97 cents. Again, everything I mentioned so far is, is from Home Depot or your local store. Uh, these clasps are perfect. They provide a really solid grab, uh, so you can turn the antennas and they stay. When the wind's blowing, it doesn't move it around. But of course, it also makes it extremely easy to move the antenna up and down. So if I want this to be five foot tall, you know, I could put it up there and it stays. Um, as for the actual RFID equipment, the uh, the antenna I, I bought from Thinkify Incorporated. Uh, amazing company. The, the owner was, was super nice and really helped with, with any questions I had. Um, those cost $60 each, uh, roughly. I don't have the receipt with me, but it was around $60, $60 a piece. They could have provided cables with me, uh, with the antennas. Uh, but the cables, the price I gave me was really close to what I bought it from. And so if they can provide the cables, I'd recommend just, you know, having them send the cables too. These cables are uh, 15 feet long. Uh, you could go higher, much higher. You can go up to 100 feet. However, uh, Motorola recommends that 15 feet is the where you get the most performance, 15 feet or less, out of the cable. Um, at 15 feet long, you can kind of get a, a sense here if you want to zoom out to the width. I was able to cover, uh, I got my tape measure here, I was able to cover almost 9 feet wide from board to board. So uh, it's 8 foot and 10 inches. So, uh, so that's a 15 foot cable. The, uh, the cables, like I said, I bought them from a different company. Uh, it was a company out of St. Peter's, Petersburg, Florida. They were uh, $32 a piece for a 15 foot long cable. So, um, so pretty much I have four boards, four adapters with four anchors, uh, the pipes, and all together each one of these stands, um, not including the antenna and, and cable, cost me under $25. And so each antenna, of course, costs around 60, and the cable costs 30. So I guess you're looking roughly at, um, let's see, I guess right around $100 per per antenna. So per antenna stand and everything. Uh, we'll move over to the mats. Um, the mats, I was really happy to find these. These, of course, can be bought at your local hardware store. Um, yeah, I got these from Home Depot, of course. Uh, what's great about them is that, as you see, they've got holes in them so that when it rains, it's not slick. It's a really good material. It's thick enough. It's going to stay down, but easy. It's light enough that you can easily throw it in your trunk and just and throw it down really fast. Uh, the great thing is they come by a three by three square, and so they actually lock together, and so you can make them as deep as you want or as long as you want. Uh, I only bought two just just for demo purposes, but uh, great mats fit together really nice. The uh, other piece I've got here is a little, I don't know what this is called, I wish I knew, but it costs a dollar, it's like a, uh, uh, some kind of border trim, it's, it's really flexible, real nice. You throw it down and uh, right on top of this, just to provide a little bit of a, a lip coming onto the mat. Um, 
these uh, these cost a dollar each, and I, I taped them down with black Gorilla tape, and the Gorilla tape comes in a you know, nice big roll that's around five or six dollars a piece. So uh, the last piece of the equipment I have on this side, and next we'll look at what all I've got on the table over there. Uh, the, for the finish line, the last piece I have is the actual reader. The uh, the reader here is the Motorola FX 7400. Um, again, just like everything else, it can be purchased off the shelf. Uh, there's nothing that is proprietary to this, so if, uh, if someone else was using my software, or if someone else just happened to have this reader for whatever reason, you could borrow their reader and just plug it in and it works. Um, the one I have is the four port reader. Uh, you can buy them in a two port reader and only have two antennas. That'll save you uh, probably three or four hundred dollars. Um, you know, for me, if I'm going to be doing races, Consistently, I, I want to have whatever's going to be the less less stressful on race day. So I did four ports. Um, <clears throat> the uh, it, it connects to the computer with a standard data cable. Uh, you can buy these in any any length. I think this one I have here is about 50 feet long. Uh, but that's that's the gist of the uh, finish line setup. Uh, oh, one thing I didn't show you is that I don't glue these in. So on race day, you can easily just take them out and easily set it back up. And I take my cables. And I wrap them around either the pole, or I can even wrap them and stick them inside here inside the clasp. So uh, I think it's a simple, easy setup. Uh, total cost, like I said, of each antenna around $100. Depending on if you want to do shoe tags or if you want to do on the uh, on the bib, like most people typically do, you want to get either the five foot or the two foot cables. Um, we're going to do our test here in a minute with shoe tags, so I've got them down low. So next, we'll look at the finish line table.